all right, got this crazy article about this Muslim child who apparently was chanting about how he wanted to murder Christians during a parade over in India. That's Islam for you. That right there is the kind of murderous spirit that Islam has. You know, just all the proof you need right there. But let me read this article. This is on um, uh, Jihad Watch, or now called robertspencer.org. It says, uh, Muslim child in parade chants about murdering Christians and Hindus. Now, I want to point something out also, just on a side note. Uh, I'm not pro-Hinduism by any long shot. Uh, Hinduism is obviously just as evil and, and murderous and violent as, as Islam. I've proven that in other videos. Uh, but murder is wrong regardless of who it's against. I need to point that out. Okay, I, don't, I don't care who it's against, it's wrong. But anyway, uh, even against Muslims, it's wrong for that too. So let me just get something in my eye real quick. Uh, let me read the article. It says... The popular front of India march is, is a reminiscent, reminiscent of Palestinian culture in which children are conditioned in jihad and routinely call for the death of Jews and Israelis. Now, obviously, again, Judaism is also a false religion too, but I digress. Because, again, murder is wrong regardless of who it's against. Uh, their early indoctrination to hate and murder and martyrdom is Islam's highest calling and is not unique to the Palestinian territories, although the PFI march was in Kerala, hope I'm saying that word right, India's second largest state, the Muslim child chant proclaims dehumanitude, hope I'm saying that word right, upon disbelievers or death. The chanting child already knows that Pakistan and Bangladesh are in the Dar al-Islam, House of Islam, whereas India as regarded as Dar al-Harab, House of War, to be conquered. Yeah, because Islam essentially is a religion of world dominance, just like Hinduism. You see, Islam and Hinduism are not that different when you really get down to it. Sorry, I got something in my eye, but continuing on. And again, with regard to Hinduism, I've proven other videos that um, I claim. So check out my videos, check out my playlist on Hinduism, and you'll see that Hinduism is every bit as uh, violent as Islam. But I digress. Young Muslim children, uh, continuing on, young Muslim children are being taught how to kill Hindus, how radicalization, hate, and bigotry is ruining another generation, OP India. Recently, Kerala police started to probe after a video of a child from Kerala went viral in which he was raising anti-Hindu and anti-Christian slogans, warning that Muslims are coming to kill them all. The video was from a march by the Poplar Front of India. In the video, PFI members and the child could be heard saying, quote, be ready for your death rituals if you don't live in our land quietly, and be ready with rice flakes to fill your mouth if you won't live quietly for Hindus. Uh, be ready to burn uh, amber in your home if you won't live quietly for the Christians. Because we are coming, we are your death. We won't go to Pakistan or Bangladesh. We, you have to live here, as we say. Or else we will make you live quietly. We will kill you even if we are attacked. We take pride in being a martyr. We salute We salute them. If you, if you don't live quietly, you know how to ask for Azadi. Be, be prepared for your death. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Uh, Proverbs chapter 8 verse 36. All they that hate me love death. That's Islam for you right there in that one verse. They love death. But continuing on. It says in the article, It was not just a random rant by a child, it was a song, a hateful verse that has been taught to a kid, in which he then sings and waits for people to join him in the song sharing. The crowd around the kids seem familiar with the song because they know when to chant the appropriate slogans. Radicaliz radicalization of Muslim children and anti-Hindu propaganda. Now again, not pro-Hinduism, just, you know, reading what the article says. The video from Kerala shows how children of the Muslim community are being radicalized against Hindus and other communities. This is not the first incident in where such videos filled with hate and propaganda have surfaced on social media. So, that right there is another fruit of, again, what Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12 says about Islam. You know, what is Ishmael? A wild man. Now, I don't hate Ishmael as a person. I think Ishmael is in heaven. But the, the descendants of Ishmael, the spirituality of Ishmael, Islam, is wild. That simple. So anyway, this, that's the fruit of Islam for you. Uh, just more proof saying, but you know, this is going to be probably taken down for hate speech and Islamophobia because, you know, truth is now is now Islamophobia by the standards of the social liberal left. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.